An Introduction to IWCF, Level 1. For more than 4,000 years, man has used petroleum in a wide variety of ways, from building the Great Walls of Babylon to lighting homes and streets in the 19th century, we have constantly found new uses for this substance. Even now, in the 21st century, the demand for petroleum-based products shows no sign of slowing. To meet this demand, we must search for reservoirs in more remote and environmentally sensitive regions, such as the Arctic. We are also constantly pushing the frontiers of technology to locate, drill and produce oil in deeper waters, such as the Gulf of Mexico. However, it is not just the technical aspects of drilling that need to be considered. Process safety is of critical importance to safe and successful day-to-day -day operations. We must maintain well integrity throughout the whole life cycle of the well, from drilling through completion and production, for intervention and workover operations, and finally to plug and abandon. Sadly, in 2010 an incident on the deep water horizon drilling rig on the Macondo field in the Gulf of Mexico resulted in the loss of 11 lives. It also resulted in the estimated discharge of nearly 5 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. All of us have a responsibility to make sure that an incident on this scale never happens again. We must do this not only to protect ourselves, but also to protect the environment and society as a whole. If such an incident were to ever happen again, it could also endanger the security of our industry and our jobs. Following Macondo, the International Association of Oil and Gas Producers recognized that all who are involved in any operation during the life cycle of a well, in any way, should have training to understand well control. The International Well Control Forum, in cooperation with Oilenium, has produced an e-learning program to give you the knowledge and understanding of the processes which take place during this well life cycle. We will also consider the impact of human factors at every stage of this process. While by no means exhaustive, we believe that this program will provide you with a good level of knowledge to make your career in the oil and gas industry more interesting and more rewarding. Whether you've worked in the industry for a while or whether you are at the start of your career, please take the opportunity to use these resources to improve your knowledge and help to protect the environment and our industry, while also helping to keep those who work in it safe. The IWCF Level 1 Awareness course comprises of seven modules. They are an overview of oil and gas, the life cycle of a well, drilling rigs, well control during drilling operations, well intervention and workover, pressure control during well intervention, and conclusion. Click on the modules in turn to hear the learning objectives for each one. Module 1. By the end of this module, you should be able to recall some of the early uses of crude oil, outline the origins and growth of the oil industry, recognize significant well control events and technological developments, describe why geology is important to the petroleum industry, explain how hydrocarbons are formed, describe where hydrocarbons are found, and identify different methods for finding oil and gas. Module 2. By the end of this module, you should be able to describe the basic life cycle of a well, identify the main components used in the drilling process, describe the casing and cementing process, define the different methods of well intervention, and describe how a well is plugged and abandoned. Module 3. By the end of this module, you should be able to Describe what a drilling rig is. Describe how drilling rigs work. Identify the drilling equipment that is used. Recognize the various types of drilling rigs. Identify the locations where they operate. And identify the well control equipment that is used. Module 4. By the end of this module, you should be able to 
Define some important terms used in well control. Describe how kicks happen. Recall how kicks are detected. Identify the first actions to take when a kick is detected. Describe how to make the well safe. And recognize the key roles and responsibilities during a kick. Module 5. By the end of this module, you should be able to recognize the components of a completion or production string and understand their function, describe how well interventions and workovers are performed, and describe why well interventions and workovers are performed. Module 6. By the end of this module, you should be able to Define some important terms used in pressure control during interventions. Identify what can go wrong during well intervention planning and operations. Recall the first actions when a well control situation arises. Describe the plugging and abandonment process. And recognize the roles and responsibilities of those involved in the event of a primary barrier failing. Module 7. The purpose of this module is to summarize the key learning points from the IWCF Level 1 e-learning program. Questions will be asked at the end of each chapter and feedback will be given to help reinforce your learning. At the end of each module, a final exam will be used to measure how you got on. Please do not worry about these tests. After all, this is not a compulsory course. If you do fail, you can revisit the content within the module and have another attempt. Successful completion of the final exam will then unlock the next module. A certificate will be generated upon successful completion of the final exam for Module 7, which you can print off and keep for yourself. You could frame it, pin it on your wall, or keep it on your desk as a reminder of your commitment to help protect the environment our industry and all those who work within it. Thank you for completing this training module. We hope this will help you in your workplace. Remember you can revisit this module at any time to refresh your knowledge. An overview of oil and gas. By the end of this module you should be able to recall some of the early uses of crude oil, outline the origins and growth of the oil industry, recognize significant well control events and technological developments, describe why geology is important to the petroleum industry, explain how hydrocarbons are formed, describe where hydrocarbons are found, and identify different methods for finding oil and gas. We will use a number of terms in this module to refer to hydrocarbons such as oil, gas, crude oil and petroleum. This module consists of six chapters. They are the early years, birth of an industry, geology, rocks and how they are formed, hydrocarbons and where they are found, geology and the petroleum industry, and exploration for hydrocarbons. Each chapter will end with a short knowledge check to confirm your learning. Petroleum. Where would we be without it? How many items around you do you think owe their existence to petroleum? Petroleum is not just about fuel for our cars, trucks and aeroplanes. It's about so many other things that we rely on day to day and rarely stop to think about what they're made of. But first, the name. Petroleum is taken from the Greek words for rock and oil. Petroleum, or crude oil, is a naturally occurring flammable liquid which can range in colour from clear through green, amber, brown to black and can range from the consistency of water to that of molasses. Once extracted, crude is refined into a large number of consumer products from natural gas to petrol and kerosene to asphalt and chemical reagents used to make plastics and pharmaceuticals. Chapter 1 
the early years. Crude oil has certainly had a colourful history. Some of its early uses were waterproofing wooden boats, and the Romans used it as a weapon for embalming and lighting. The ancient Persians, 10th century Sumatrans and pre-Columbian Indians all believed that crude oil had medicinal benefits. Marco Polo found it used in the Caspian Sea region to treat camels for mange, and the first oil exported from Venezuela in 1539 was intended as a gout treatment for the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. Right up until the early 1900s, mineral oil, a by-product of petroleum, was a regular component found in snake oil, the infamous cure-all wonder treatment. It was one of the less successful uses of petroleum. Until the late 19th century, an oil find was often met with disinterest or dismay. Pioneers who settled the American West dug wells to find water or brine. They were disappointed when they struck oil. Several historical factors changed that. The kerosene lamp, invented in 1854, ultimately created the first large-scale demand for petroleum. Kerosene was first made from coal, but by the late 1880s, most was derived from crude oil.